Welcome to IIT Frontier. My name is Harjat Nam. In one of the videos, uh, I have discussed the overview of Azure IoT and its services. And if you haven't watched it yet, then click on the right top corner so that you can view it. In that video, I have promised that I'll make a separate video on AZ220, that is Azure IoT Developer Certification. And I have created a two-part series of AZ220. And this is the first part. In this video, we'll talk about the introduction of AZ220, where we'll be discussing why to take the AZ220 exam and who should take the exam and what are the ways uh, we can schedule the exam. So before we dive into the content, please share your support by liking this video and hitting the subscribe button so that you'll never miss an episode. Let's get started. Let's get into the presentation. So uh, the introduction of AZ220, so we'll talk about the exam name. So the exam name is AZ220, uh, Microsoft Azure IoT Developer. So the certificate that we gain from this is Microsoft Certified Azure IoT Developer Special. So the total uh, passing score is 700 out of 1000. The questions that we get in exam is 40 to 60. And the duration is 120 minutes. The price of this exam to get certified is 4800 plus taxes in india and in the dollars it is 165 usd so what is the need that we need to take az220 what is the use of this getting certificate certification makes job candidates stand out in the crowded job market so you will be hired more quickly by the employers and as you get certificate certified you will be having deeper knowledge and understanding of technologies because once you go through the uh, skills that are needed in the certification you have to cover a uh, variety of topics and concepts so based on that you will be able to create a good iot solution and also certification helps you achieve your goals in the current year for the good hike and promotion Let's talk about the prerequisites. To get certified, uh, one uh, should know how to implement IoT solution with Azure services. There are few Azure services that are uh, to be known and using that you have to create an IoT solution. So that is the first prerequisite. The second is uh, the IoT solution that was already created. You should know how to maintain it, monitor it and troubleshoot. And the third prerequisite is that you should be having the coding skill in one of the programming languages that is supported by Azure. So basically Azure provides an SDK which has Python, C Sharp, C or Node. These are the four uh, supported languages which are to be known uh, to continue and uh, working in the Azure ecosystem. So uh, the, what is the audience profile or the candidate profile? So uh, who should take the exam and once you take the exam, what will be your roles and responsibilities? First is you have to create and maintain the cloud and device. And you have to set up the physical devices and also maintain and troubleshoot devices as well as cloud. So both part has to be maintained. And as I mentioned, the uh, programming skill, that is the code to communicate between cloud and devices. And also there is a uh, latest thing that is coming in the edge computing that is Azure IoT Edge. The modules are, are to be created and deployed as well. And as I already mentioned that you should have understanding of di different device types and Azure services in the Azure Cloud platform. And uh, the SDK languages that you should know. So these are the things that have uh, the audience profile let's talk about the resources so the resources are uh, to gain the certification are uh, uh, so first one to prepare uh, the certification you need to go through uh, microsoft learn portal so on the home page you will be getting the microsoft learn uh, portal where you can uh, enroll to the self paced learning course and go through all the uh, topics 
in the topics you will be having both uh, theory as well as practicals uh, that are that can be done with the azure sandbox and some of for some of the uh, practicals that you have to create your own free account in azure to perform them and you can also look, uh, gain the knowledge in azure uh, by looking into azure documentation because documentation has the vast knowledge where you can gain from that you can you can also look into youtube videos where uh, there are so many uh, youtube videos that are explaining the concepts that are there in the az220 and you should also be uh, caution uh, that uh, the the keep changing the exam topics and skills frequently so you should understand what are the changes that they have come uh, in the official website of the certification you can look for the changes so what would be the question structure the question structure so basically uh, there would be some case studies uh, they will give you some case study of uh, one organization where they are going to implement azure iot and its services for example and then we'll be asking questions related to that so that will be one case study and there will be five to six questions on it so that is multi part questions and the second thing is about the general multiple choice questions and there will also be such that you'll be a, a, that you should be able to tick multiple responses so it will be uh, more than re one response that you have to choose and that will not be mentioned as well like if they have given five options there might be three correct options and they will not mention like choose three and then there will also be drag and drop uh, in sequential steps so there are some steps that for example if you want to create azure iot uh, hub and then uh, provision it so they will be asking what are the steps that you have to perform so they will give uh, seven steps and out of that they will be jumbled and you have to pick uh, the steps in the order correct order so that uh, that will be complete so that kind of questions will be coming and uh, true or false simple true or false also uh, will be coming and there is no uh, negative marking in this exam so whenever you answer incorrectly there will be not be any points deducted so how do we schedule the exam to schedule the exam uh, first we have to go to the home page of microsoft certification uh, is at 220 on any search engine you can search and you'll get to the at home page i'll also paste the links in the description so once you go there uh, you'll be have an option called schedule exam you should uh, mostly log in with your personal profile instead of the office or school account so that it will always be there with you so when you schedule uh, click on the schedule exam it will redirect to the ps and view site so you have to uh, before that it will ask some profile uh, to complete the profile your address and etc once you complete that there will be uh, two options to choose uh, to schedule the exam so one is the online uh, where you can take the exam from your laptop at home one more is the test center where you have to go to the center and uh, in their systems you have to take the exam so my preference would be test center because uh there will be having the software installed the hardware and internet and then power backup everything would be there so there will be some persons who will guide you if there is any problem in the in writing the exam at the time and if there is an internet issue so there will be some persons helping with you but if uh, if you don't have any other choice like if you're uh, residing in the tier 2 or tier 3 cities where you don't have a nearby at a center then you can choose the online proctored exam where uh, you have to take your laptop uh, in the laptop it right now psn view only supports windows laptops and you have to install one small software of psn view and once you ins uh, install the software it will uh, based on its hardware requirements if all are satisfied then your laptop will be eligible once that uh, before getting started with the exam uh, a proctor will uh, come online and he will ask you to show you around the room where you are uh, taking the exam and he will be asking whether the doors are closed and all those things he will check that and then uh, you have to start the exam so this is how uh, the online proctored exam works and you should take care of the power backup and other issues uh, when you take the online proctored exams and once you select a uh, test center or online uh, proctored exam then you can schedule the date and time 
So there will be some slots that you have to select. And once you select that, you have to pay the amount. Uh, so that will be around uh, 4,800 plus tax. And then uh, uh, you can write the exam on the day. And if you want to reschedule, so there is also reschedule uh, policy. So before uh, 24 hours you can of the exam, you can reschedule it to some other date. So there is no limit of how many times you have to reschedule. Uh, you can reschedule and you can do that. So that's not an issue. And coming to the results and retake policy. So the results were, will be coming immediately. So within minutes of your finishing exam, you should be see, seeing the result. And you'll also, you'll also be able to see the report uh, where uh, you have performed, the feedback on your performance, like on which topic uh, you have good strength and where you have weaknesses. All those in the graph format, you'll be able to see. And if unfortunately you have uh, not passed, then you have uh, you can take retake the exam uh, in 24 hours after 24 hours uh, from the first attempt and then if you're again unfortunately if you have failed in the second attempt as well then there should be some uh, some terms and conditions like 14 days waiting period and then uh, there should not be more than five attempts or some other things are there so that you can look into terms and conditions but most of the people should be able to pass within a couple of attempts And if you have passed, then the certificate will look like this. So this is my certificate uh, I have provided you as a sample. So you'll be able to see your name and then specialty certificate and uh, the name of the specialty that we have achieved, the date and the validity certification number. So uh, this validity is for one year, the exam validity. And every year you have to renew it. So the renewal is not uh, very difficult. You don't have to again uh, reschedule them uh, like a proctored exam or test center. You just have to take on your laptop and it will be uh, like maybe half an hour or something. Uh, then where they'll be asking few questions uh, only on that topics which are newly added. So on those only uh, you will be tested. So re renewal is not a big process. You can take multiple attempts as well. We hope this video has given you proper introduction about AZ220. In the upcoming video, we'll discuss in depth the skills that are measured in AZ220 exam to get certified. As you have watched till the end of the video, this video deserves like and share. Your support means a lot to us and helps keep creating videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.